And yes, so concerned Christians and Muslims from Southern Kaduna extraction, they don't submit one protest letter to United Nations headquarters inside Abuja. And then they call on the international community to so make them by force both the federal and the Kaduna state government to so make them stop the Kilikili inside the Southern Kaduna. The group was to submit letter to the United States Embassy, the British High Commission, plus the European Union Office SEF for the federal capital, say the crisis began to make thousands, so they displaced and they need the humanitarian help. And then uh, the young say uh, they want a sharp, sharp action so that they will stop this badness bloodshed inside the Southern Kaduna. We have gathered to come to bring to the attention of the international community the insecurity the killing, the spirit of violence in northern Nigeria in general, and especially in southern Kaduna in particular. We want the intervention uh, to make the state and the federal government act expeditiously to bring these killings to an end. We believe that there can never be peace without justice. So we want to call on the international community to prevail on the state and federal government to bring these killers to justice. We, we know that they are not spirits, they are human beings. So they can be found, they can be gotten, they can be brought to justice. This will act as a deterrent to whoever would want to cause such havoc or mayhem in the future. We are also seeking the help of the international committees to come to the aid of those that have been displaced by this crisis. Like I earlier said, most of our people are farmers. They can't go to their farm these days uh, because they are killed daily in their farms. And they have even been displaced from their homes, their ancestral lands. So they are just sojourners now in their lands. So we are calling on the international community to come to their aid with however way they can. We as the concerned Christians and Muslims of Nigeria, we are here to solicit for the support of the uh, international communities. We want them to come in to see how they can be able to assist us, to see how we can be able to stop the killings in the northern Nigeria and Nigeria as a whole. So we solicit we ask for the support of the United Nations, the international communities, the American government, the British High Commission, the Canadian, and uh, the European Union. So we ask for their support to come in to see how we can be able to stop the killings. The killers are human like us. So if there is any way we can forge ahead and go forward, to see how we can be able to tackle this, they should please help us. If the government will take up their responsibility the right way and take the bull by the horn to stop this, it can be stopped. If security is put in place to fight and um, stop the terrorists, this will be stopped. We feel that the government are um, having a lackluster attitude towards the whole killings and our people are killed daily in huge numbers. It's very painful. I'm from Southern Kaduna and I'm, I'm a peace ambassador. I believe in peace if only the right authorities would do the right thing. So we're here to solicit with the international community to come to our aid to get their hands involved in this and solve it once and for all. I will submit this to the resident coordinator who is the highest ranking official of the United Nations in the country. Um, the contents of the petition will be reviewed um, and what I expect that an appropriate response will be provided. Uh, we you probably need to be aware that the resident coordinator has already been in touch with uh, some high-ranking officials in the government already about this issue. Um, the UN has already sent a mission to some of those places to establish what the issues are. So I suspect that uh, within the next couple of days, in response to your petition, you will get a response. And yes, so to follow us, talk about this uh, Southern Kaduna killing, uh, now Mr. Shabaya Abok will be convener and uh, concerned uh, Christians and Muslims for inside Obudonanja. Mr. Shabaya, will they hail you this Kaja day? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You join our Gunge News. Okay, so, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, so why, why on our submit we no go agree protest letter to United Nations headquarters, American Embassy, European Union, and even British High Commission? And we think the federal government and Kaduna state government uh, and say then they tackle the issue for Southern Kaduna and it be like say on are no happy with how then they take the two arm. So you feel just yeah. uh, tell us why this matter be like this. So, uh, what thing they happen, we say, as we, for the past 
10 years, we have been facing uh, all this insecurity in the northern part of Nigeria and southern Kaduna especially. Uh, we have been so optimistic. We've been thinking, say, our government will come to our aid to see how they face up the killings okay. and the insecurity in the northern part of Nigeria. So, Naim, we can't talk, say, so if they don't go feed Duam or they don't get more strength, more go meet the American people, the United Nations, the British. The Canadian people may they come assist us okay. or may they assist our government to see how we can be able to tackle the insecurity in the northern part of Nigeria and southern Kaduna. Okay. The team don't they pass one kind. Mm. As we see, say the team not they do not they yield anything. Every time our government they will say they are on top of the pro, uh, case, they are on top of it, they are on top of it. The team can't tire us. Okay. So now we can't say to more just go meet the United Nations, more meet the American people, made a put hand with our government, may we stop all these killings. Okay. We are concerned Christians and Muslims. Mm. And we are so optimistic that if the international community come put hand with our government, we know say definitely by the grace of God, the killings will stop. Okay. Yes. So uh, now uh, people they talk saying that Christian and Muslims now in the fight they cause this this katakata inside Southern Kaduna. But this one where Christian and Muslim uh, youth don't come together to submit letter, then uh, who be the people where can they fight for there? The people where they come in where they come attack us not be not be indigenous of that very Southern Kaduna or the northern part. Okay. The people are coming from different part of the country, I mean, of the world, coming in, maybe through our border, they will come in. When they come, now so they will just come, they kill our innocent people. Mm. I, I used to know my father as, my, I'm a Christian. My father is a Christian. Okay. But at the same time, my father speaks our local dialect. Okay. And at the same time, my father speaks Fulani. Mm. Okay. And my father is a Christian. So we have been living with the Fulanis for years, and we have been together. So where is this problem coming from? You understand? Mm. Definitely there is a problem. I used to, I have a lot of Muslims okay. as friends and as brothers and as uncles. Okay. So we have, we, we have, I'm related to Muslims okay. and at the same time being a Christian. Okay. So we supposed to come together, make the international community, make them come help us. What did they happen? If there is something where the government know they tell us more understand. Okay. But I know Muslims where they for Southern Kaduna, they are so dedicated to see how we find peace. You understand? Mm. So we need the international community to come and help us more see how we can be able to tackle this problem. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay, so uh, on a talk summit and can't help provide for the internally displaced people. We won't know whether or not so this case bad for their reach. Uh, my sister, the case is bad, well, well, oh, mm. the case is bad. Because now at this, for this coronavirus uh, period, so many people, if you go to the IDP now, you go see they don't get food to chop. You understand? Now, uh, those people living at the rural areas, they know they go farm, they know they do business, the normal business tra trading, where they do, where they will be people from Kano, other uh, neighboring states, they will they come to uh, Southern Kaduna, they buy food, they pack carry and go, they go Lagos, they go all these states. Okay. They know they do them again. Now they are hungry. People are, they are dying. You know, we need, we, we need them to come and bring aid to okay. them all so right, that we so, can be able to okay, uh, see how we can feed them Okay. And they, you know, Mr. Shabaya, um, 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 finally, um, which message you would like to give those people when they cause this uh, katakata for inside South and Kaduna? So, the message we have to give them is say, mm. uh, our people in South and Kaduna are good, loving people. Okay. The Muslims and the Christians are loving people. I know them. Okay. I know them very well. I know that people, the real Muslims and Christians of Southern Kaduna are peaceful people. Mm -hmm. So we want to see, we want them, the government may help us okay. identify these people invading our villages. 
Then if there is a problem somewhere mm. from from those days, then let's try to see how we can address it. Okay. When we address it, then we will now come sit down for a round table. We can sign this more do peace, uh, peace uh, meeting so okay. that we we'll understand what will be their problem, what will be our problem. And then we can now forge ahead to see how we can be able to tackle the insecurities. Okay, thank you so much, yeah. Mr. Shabaya, uh, for this Obonga information where you summer on top of Obonga news and make you get Kaja Day.